So this is me on a jet ski. Never been on a jet ski before in my life. It's me and my friend Connor. Give us a wave, Connor. Wave. So me and Connor just waiting for our tour guide, Edwin. And he was somewhere over there on that platform. And the camera show you in a minute. And um, we're waiting to set off. There he is, blue shorts over there. Can I turn it on? Yeah. So I turn on the jet ski and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I forget, but I seem to uh, come his way and uh, I might crash. Go over there. I, I don't have to reverse this. <laughs> Lovely blue sky here. Brilliant. Ready to go and jet ski into it. Then you look around the corner. Thunder raining. And um, it's just absolutely madness just to look at that. I've never seen such a cloud or sky like that before in my life. So we've been now on the water and not gone really anywhere far from the platform. They probably estimate, I don't know, half an hour doing nothing, just sitting around. Time fell forever. Still waiting for Edward to put on his bloody coat. Um, but yeah, still don't know what he's doing. Don't know what's taking him so long. I just really just want to, you know, go into zoom into that blue sky, but we're still waiting. Edwin's ready and now we're on our way and looks like we're ready to go now we have to go a bit slowly because I can't remember what reason but once we're out on the open ocean we can go as fast as we want but right now you have to go slow I'm sorry I can't remember why There goes Connor and Edwin into the distance. Connor's been jet skiing before, so he knows what to do and, and knows how to handle such a, a fast thing where I don't. I've never been jet skiing and I never have owned a car. I've never operated such a, a fast thing in my life. So I'm pretty scared, nervous, and excited all at once. So um, in order to catch up with them, I got a really push down on the accelerator. So when I think I'm going on a straight line, I'm not. I'm leaning towards the left. Now, I'm a bit too scared to, um, you know, turn while driving in case I might fall off. So, um, I just slow down the jet ski and then stop and then steer the right direction I want to go 
and go that way until I steer off into uh, you know, unintentionally steer off to uh, the wrong side and I stop I have to go back and direct myself to Connor's position and drive towards him and so forth it's just like quite annoying um, and scary and exciting but so there I am I've caught up with them and I think they're just talking really because um, the weather's gonna get really bad and look at that sky so after a little talk um, we've decided to cancel the rest of the tour and then have it rescheduled first thing for tomorrow and now we're going to head back and um, head to shore. So we arrive at this platform and Edwin has gone to find some shelter and the sky has got really bad and the rain has really picked up and we're getting quite soaked but it is slightly warm and um, it's not too cold but it is cold at the same time if you know what I mean. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you want to sit down? Uh, you have a good look. So I'm soaking wet and I'm a bit cold and I've got a blast of like warm heat around me but not too warm it's very very like light lukewarm and um, yeah just sitting there waiting and waiting and we ended up waiting for over an hour for my memory. So Edwin uh, contacts his friend to say that we are stranded and we're on the platform and we need to get rescued. So we just sit and wait patiently. So if you look closely now in front of you, you see some lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. 
the main, and you already got over the biggest hurdle, which is just being afraid to do it. Like, yeah. so many people are just like, oh, you know, what if I, I don't know how to survive in another country. Like, you just gotta go. Like, if you, just go. you follow a few ba basic rules, you can stay pretty much anywhere in the world. Like, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a lot of this. Yeah, but that's, that's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not cold. I'm pretty sure it's cold though, right? Yeah, it's freezing. It's I think it's hard to get out of the wind. Uh, Brilliant. It is a little itself. It's a lot more expensive to travel here in the U.S., so that makes it a little harder. In Europe, you know, you can get flights for like 15. So after just chatting about traveling and places where we want to go to, I I broke out in prayer. I just prayed for the rain to stop. Say a prayer, Connor. Make, make it stop. <laughs> I, I'll say one. Yeah, dear Lord, we, we thank you for uh, this day out, even though it's turned into a, a storm. And uh, we pray for the storm to ease in your timing, because uh, you, you're in control of everything, and uh, we will wait for it to stop, and uh, we can get to safety, we can get, and uh, enjoy the rest of our day, and we get back safe. Thank you for our time here with uh, is it Edwin? Edwin. Edwin and thank you for Connor and and my time here in America has been absolutely fantastic time so thank you Lord Jesus and uh, the hope of the storm to stop in the name of Jesus in your holy heavenly precious name we pray Amen Amen it looks like we might get a little more rain before it stops but yeah. Yeah. this is one for luck for God said Oh wow, yeah. I thought you were leaning in to pray. Yeah. I was going to say, set up a flare, but that'd be pointless. Uh, well, <laughs> we're, not, we're not quite in that dire strait. <laughs> oh my goodness. I watched this, so there was this great TV series. It's been done for a few years now, I think, but it's called I Shouldn't Be Alive. And it was these like crazy survival stories, like just nuts. Uh -huh. And uh, there was one where this this group of I think it was must have been five people initially. They had bought a boat up in like Maine, and then they were bringing it down to Fort Lauderdale. Sailboat, but it had an engine on it. And um, they got caught in the storm. They you know miscalculated their navigation. Everything were too far out to sea. Boat ends up sinking. They're on a life raft, you know, they didn't have like a duress signal or anything. They're out there for like 15 days <laughs> and like people are starting to lose it. Two of the guys end up drinking salt water, which is like, you know, rule number one, you never do. So they literally go insane and like the one guy's like, oh, I'm gonna go get some cigarettes and just like walks off the boat and like drowns. Um, Wait, uh, they drank salt water, wow, they got dehydrated or something? Yeah, you just get like super dehydrated and then start hallucinating and then you die you know you either die of dehydration or you do something stupid like walk off into the ocean and uh right and i know that so yeah. salt water makes you yeah oh yeah salt water will make you either like it'll start making you uh vomit like violently or it can cause really severe dehydration which will cause hallucination uh, well, well, why is that why why why, why is it because it's just so much more salty than like your internal um you know salt levels so like it basically when they say it dehydrates you it's because it pulls even more water out of your body to try to balance out the salt level in your stomach mm -hmm. um and so yeah it's pretty much the same thing as oh hallelujah salt. Um, right and so it's just like if you were suffering from like heat stroke or or dehydration like you're just you're not getting in a box in your brain and uh yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Hey. But only two of them ended up making it, like surviving of the five. So yeah, because one of the other gals, she was badly injured in like the lines of a sailboat, like her legs were messed up, and she ended up bleeding out internally. Oh, well, yeah. it's good to watch from a nice place inside. Where you yeah. don't have to worry about anything. Well, I'm worried here. Yeah. It's very. But yeah, no, you did the right thing though. As long as you're not touching the uh, rail, the right. edges.
sometimes not. I know. Um, yeah, a lot of. Uh, George T. Baker. Okay. 